Hello, I'm Marilyn, and I'm talking to you from my store in Naples, Florida. And we're going to show you all of the wonderful styles we have, Italian, that are made in Torino, Italy. One of the big questions that I get asked all the time is, how did you wind up selling white blouses? Well, the truth of the matter is, when I came down to Naples, Florida, I started with a little shop on Fifth Avenue. And I was just going to do accessories and shoes and anything that had, that had to do with accessorizing and making an outfit better. And when I looked at it, I thought, oh, this is going to be pretty dull. And I saw these white blouses, these French white blouses, when I was in Paris. And I thought, I'll have French blouses. That'll make it the store look nicer. I never knew what I was getting myself into. Now we sell more white blouses and all kinds of blouses, and we even make them ourselves. Well, after a few years of selling French blouses, which had an interesting fit for American women, we are a little more endowed than the French are. I always have the story when our women used to walk past my little French blouses, they used to scream. But that was ready to be done because a few years later, I met Julio, and he has a wonderful factory. Um, it's actually not a factory. It's, it's about three large, huge rooms and, uh, and a, big, a lot of garages out in the back. And I said to him the first time I met him, I saw his blouses, and they're beautiful. I said, but I really have to have a good fit. I have lived with French blouses for three years, and the fit is already... Uh, has always been a challenge. And so he said, well, we have a very good fit here, and I have to agree. One of the big things about our blouses is the fit. Um, the lines are good. They all taper in. They all start with the tapering from under the arm and down, so you don't have to worry about waistlines on these. Even in these that come here, even if they fit tighter, they, they drop very nicely in the back, fitting with the darts. So he did a very good job in any style that he did for us and our bodies. The first thing we ask ourselves, how is this going to fit on the body? Well, obviously, the first place to start when you're talking about wife's blouses is with French white blouses. And they usually have a tremendous amount of detail. They also, we know them for the ruffles and very difficult to iron. They originally were on 100% cotton. Most of them now have a stretch in them so that they are easier to take care of than they were before. But if you work with these classic lines, it makes a beautiful blouse. We have one of them, a good example here in the store, which you can even see the detail even better, is the lines that are coming here. It's a real crispy look, and I like these blouses always ironed. The next one I call the standard, and it's the, the collar here, not a lot of darting or detail, and usually this is the best. I don't particularly care for the standard blouse in white. It's kind of boring and plain for me. So here in the store, we like to see this more with prints and stripes and things like that. So to show you some examples, which makes it easier for me to show you the detail, this is we do with a fabulous fabric, which we sell in a lot of other different styles. But it's a double stretch, and it has 5% of it. You wash this. You hang it up and you're done. It's great for travel. We've put on a little extra detail with it. Uh, see how the collars stay up? It's much more tailored, and it really works out really nice to wear for almost day wear. We also did, just for a little dressier, because we do a lot of, we work on this a lot. This has a little bigger collar. But as you can see, it really does it. We added some buttons here. So you can do a lot with the classic style by changing the fabrications. Completely different look. I love this shirt. We do a lot in white. We wear it here all the time. It's called a rainbow shirt. It comes down here a little longer. I want to show in the store, though, if, if customer is a little shorter, we do shorten things up proportionately for them so that we don't have to worry about sizing and proportion. Our alterations are complementary. But this is really where we started becoming in the uh, blouse business here in the store. We, we're putting on our own identity. We took this blouse, and I can remember saying this to Julio. I want to, why don't we put a little black around the collar and the cuffs and everything? And he said, oh, who's going to buy a black and white blouse? So this is the one that we wound up with. This does very, very well at the shop. And you can put on a very beautiful Maryland scarf, which brings it in. is really pretty. It's good to wear with jewelry. And accessories are very easy also. We also decided that this was a little more formal, so I wanted something that would go with jeans. So then we w evolved into this. So we were just pulling on our own identity, drawing from our customers' interest, and trying to give them a blouse that would fit into their wardrobe. I know that's one of the things when I'm buying. I'm trying to buy things that will fit into customers' wardrobes that they're going to be using. This is one of my favorite styles. This is the Maryland's classic. <laughs> what we did is I happen to like a three-quarter sleeve because I think it's very feminine, yet I'm still using the classic look here, which still gives it a little bit of a sporty look, and we're giving a lot of detail. It was also the first time when we started doing these blouses that Jul uh, Julio really let me start doing a lot of things on my own. I was able to do more detail on it. These are marvelous fitting blouses. This is, I put together, I wanted a blouse easy to take care of, fitting beautifully, 
feminine, and this blouse really fit the bill for us. And that was just the beginning. Because when I got started with that, I said, well, a lot of my customers who are, are large or busted really appreciate a zipper on a blouse. So we took this and we lined it with white, but we didn't just do plain white. We did eyelets, so just a little bit of texture to marry off with the fabrication. So now we had this, and this was fitting nice. This is really nice with skirts and stuff. So now we're really going into it. Then I wanted, my customers were telling me they wanted white blouses that were easy to take care of. This crinkly look is really beautiful with jeans or any kind of stretch, easy to take care of. Here's the three quarter. So we really are starting to do things that well, you're not seeing everywhere else. And I also, I, I like this one, we're just starting to be able to listen to customers and you know, fill their requests. Customer asked for a zipper blouse in a white, very easy to turn our, one of our classic looks into that. So really excited now about the things that may come in the future by listening to my customers. The next two blouses I'm going to show you I really love. And probably because I was in my store, customer came in to buy a white blouse, and she didn't buy a white blouse for me. And I said, why didn't you buy a white blouse from me? And she said, well, you don't have any sleeveless blouses. And this was in May. Uh, this was in April, and I went back in May, and I said, Julio, I need a sleeveless blouse, but I want a cap sleeve on it, and I want it to be tapered down, and I want it fitted, and I told him what I thought would be good, it could wear with it, and it really would be a universal blouse that they could wear for a small skirt or anything. This is the blouse that came out of that. Um, what I did is originally, when we saw it, we did it in the linen, which is absolutely gorgeous. Um, and one of my favorite was, is though I felt that a cotton that they wanted a cotton. And what we did with the cotton, because we figured they were going to play tennis in it and golf in it, that we made it two inches longer so that when you're, you might, you're taking a great swing, <laughs> you'll be ready, your midriff won't show. And this made me pleased. And we had these in the store in June, and they are doing very, very well. And I think the part I like about it, the very, very best, is I was in the store, I listened to a customer's need, and I was able to go to Europe and produce something that they liked. And this blouse, last but certainly not least, is really the direction we're going. This was a collaboration where a customer asked me for a blouse with pockets. And when I went to Italy in Torino to ask him about a design that we would do for a blouse with a pockets, I said, well, but a cotton is not really going to be very interesting with this blouse. We need a new fabrication. So he, we went out to it. He says, well, we have these garages in the back where we've got all this fabric. And he says, I says, well, why can't, you know, why can't we see it? He says, well, because we don't have enough to put it on in our collection, he says. But we could produce some for you. And he says, but you know, we're going to run out of the fabric. And I thought, you're going to run out of the fabric? I thought that was the best thing I ever heard. Anyway, we went back. There was interesting, and it opened up a whole new world for future blouses that are coming in the store. But I really felt at the end of the day, after seeing all those beautiful fabrics, that the best way to do this was in a linen. So it'd be slightly dressy, but still had the pockets that people had asked for. It's a three-quarter sleeve, which is, of course, probably I love. So this is the blouse that's launching us on the rest, and we'll have a lot more on the website and a lot more models coming in the future. All these styles you saw today can be purchased online. Just go to our website, and you will find pictures of them and also the shopping. While you're there, if you sign up for our newsletter, you'll find out when we put new styles online.